it was three o'clock in the afternoon. The phone rang and it was Regina. And she said, you know, I just heard on KMOX that the, um, there, were five, there were five sisters in uh, Monrovia who are missing. She said, do you think that could be our sisters? I said, Regina, they are our sisters because I had been there in the summer before and I knew who was there. So then they called back and said the, the sisters were in their convent. There was no, no problem. They were not missing. I don't know how they ever determined that because they were all dead by that time. Those same five women could have gone to any country. They could have remained working in southern Illinois. They would have done the exact same things that they were doing in Liberia. They would have been teaching. They would have been working in hospitals or clinics. The work that they were doing in Liberia was not any different than anything else that any of our other sisters did. And the sacrifice that they gave uh, was a sacrifice for them, for their families, for all of our community, to be with the people of Liberia. So when people ask, you know, how can you forgive us for, for what happened to your sisters? It was never a question. It was not that the people set out to do this or to get rid of us in some way. We were there with people who were suffering through the same thing. To be witness to that love that God is for all of us. That's, that's what we do. That's what we're about. And I just want to say thank you. Without them, I would not get my nursing degree. Without them, I would not be here to even tell my story. And I will forever remain grateful because they made me into the beautiful young woman I am today. Every day, the sister play a big role in my life every day. We have had the opportunity to have many, many mothers because of their doors. We have many mothers. Transformation.